what's up flavor squad it's your girl fashionisha here to give you all the flavor if you are new here make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe if you are not new here i thank you so much for coming back to my video here are the materials that you will need for today's diy i'm going to start off by measuring the length that i wanted my crop sweatshirt to be i decided to go with 15 inches from the neckline and you want to make sure you leave yourself seam allowance for where you're inserting your elastic band that goes around your waist so just measure out your length you want but also add an inch if your elastic band is an inch add an inch to that i'm then going to measure out the neckline how far down i wanted my neckline to come because i'm going to cut there i decided to go with six inches you just do whatever is comfortable for you after i got all my measurements that i needed i went ahead and cut off the excess of the sweatshirt under the 15 inch mark I then went into the neckline to remove that neck band that it has up there. But I also wanted to make sure that I got a triangular shape when I was cutting this out. So I'm just going to keep cutting until I get the shape that I was looking for. After removing the neckline, I realized that I needed to find the middle in order to get this triangle shape correct. So I just found the middle of the sweater and moved my 6 inch dot over to the middle. I then made a 2 inch measurement from the inside of the neckline on both sides of the sweatshirt. I made a two inch measurement out so that I could connect the two dots at the top to that middle dot so I can get that triangle shape. If you get what I'm saying, I'm about to draw here so you'll see it. Once you have your lines drawn, you want to just simply cut out around that shape that you made and that'll be your neckline. So I didn't like that back neckline, so I just wanted to make it more scooped, I guess, and straighten it out a little bit. So I just cut around the back just to get it how I liked it. Now that I have the neckline to my liking and I've cut off the bottom of the sweatshirt, I'm going to just flip it inside out and we'll begin pinning. I'm first going to start by pinning the neckline. With the neckline, I only pinned it maybe in half an inch. I didn't do much. I didn't want it really bulky and thick, so I only did a half an inch. This is what your neckline should look like. I'm now gonna go in and pin the bottom of my sweatshirt. With the pinning of the bottom of your sweatshirt, you wanna make sure you leave enough space to insert your elastic. Whatever size elastic you are using, you wanna make sure you leave enough space so that you can insert it. Now we will begin sewing. You want to sew all the way around the bottom of your sweatshirt, but you want to leave a small opening to insert your elastic. With the neckline, we'll sew all the way around completely. I decided to sew with a straight stitch because the stretch didn't matter with it being oversized. When sewing the hem, you want to sew all the way around, but when you get to the end, make sure you leave your opening where you have to insert your elastic. If you don't leave that opening, you will have to take it out. 
to insert your elastic, you want to attach a safety pin to the end and begin to push it all the way through that opening that you left at the bottom. It's going to take time to get it all the way around, but just be patient and keep pushing. Once you get to the end, this is what you should have. You want to just pull out that safety pin end, and we're going to sew both ends of the elastic together. It's no big deal how you sew it together. You can sew it together straight across, up and down. You can sew a square with an X in the middle. In the middle, you just wanna make sure it doesn't come apart. Now all you have to do is sew that area closed. Once you're finished, this is what your sweatshirt should look like. You can leave it like this, or you can add a little flavor. I'm gonna add a little flavor. I decided to heat press the word growth to the front of this sweatshirt. Growth is a part of my brand's message, so I just really wanted to see how this would look with this sweatshirt or something else I had in mind. I really liked it. Comment down below if you guys are liking this as well. Also comment down below if you guys would like to see more in-depth heat press videos. I would gladly do those for you guys. Just let me know in the comments below. To the back of this sweatshirt, I added my logo. I always have to add my logo on anything that has anything to do with anything. So this is how my off the shoulder crop sweatshirt came out. It is definitely top two and is not two. If you guys like this video, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.